Welcome, dear viewers, to another captivating literary journey, where we unravel the magic of classic novels and stories. Today, we delve into a heartwarming and reflective tale from one of the greatest writers of all time, Charles Dickens. We'll explore The Poor Traveler, a short novella published in 1854 that blends social realism with an emotional narrative of kindness, redemption, and the human spirit. In typical Dickens fashion, this story is filled with rich characters, moral lessons, and a narrative that will leave you with much to ponder. Over the next hour, we'll guide you through this remarkable work with careful attention to every detail, ensuring you leave with a thorough understanding of this Christmas classic. So, without further delay, let's embark on this unforgettable journey. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy our deep dive into literature. Our story begins with the narrator, who we later recognize as Charles Dickens himself, taking us along his travels through the town of Rochester on Christmas Eve. Rochester, historic town famous for its cathedral and ancient structures, immediately evokes a sense of history and nostalgia. Dickens, who often used Rochester in his works, carefully sets the scene with descriptive prose, capturing the quiet beauty of a town blanketed in snow, the faint glow of candlelight spilling from windows, and the coziness that lies inside the doors of old inns and taverns. The narrator arrives at the Bull Inn, a place steeped in history. Dickens takes a moment to describe the inn's atmosphere, creating a sense of warmth and refuge from the cold winter evening outside. Inside, the innkeeper greets the narrator with a welcoming smile, offering him a hearty meal and a cozy bed for the night, even though he is described as a poor traveler. This moment is critical, as Dickens sets the tone for the novella's themes of charity, kindness, and the importance of human connection, especially during the holiday season. The narrator takes a seat by the fire, feeling a sense of peace wash over him. The contrast between the harsh cold outside and the warmth within the inn highlights the deeper message of the story, the need for shelter and comfort, not just in the physical sense but also in the emotional and spiritual. Here, Dickens reflects on the meaning of poverty and wealth, suggesting that those who are materially poor often possess great wealth in spirit, kindness, and resilience. This is a recurrent theme in Dickens' works, where he often portrays the working class or destitute with nobility and integrity, as opposed to the moral emptiness of the wealthy elite. As the fire crackles and casts dancing shadows across the room, the narrator begins to recall the many faces he has seen on his journeys, faces etched with hardship, but also with hope and perseverance. This is a moment of introspection where Dickens explores the idea that every traveler, every person, carries their own burdens and stories, but it is through acts of kindness that they find solace. The peaceful silence of the inn is broken by a knock at the door. The narrator, curious, opens it to reveal another traveler, a weary old soldier named Richard Doubledick. This moment marks a shift in the narrative, introducing Richard's story as a tale within a tale. Dickens uses this storytelling device to expand the scope of the novella, allowing Richard to recount his own life story, which is one of hardship, redemption, and the pursuit of forgiveness. Richard Doubledick's appearance is that of a man who has lived through many trials. His clothes are worn, his eyes carry the weight of a life filled with regret and sorrow. As he begins to tell his tale, we are transported back to his youth, where his journey of redemption first began. Richard's youth was marked by rebellion and dissatisfaction. He was a headstrong young man, prone to outbursts of anger, particularly towards his family. 
His mother and father, though loving, were often at the receiving end of his temper. Richard felt trapped in his small village, yearning for a life filled with adventure, danger, and excitement. Like many young men of his time, he viewed the military as a way out, a chance to escape his mundane life and seek glory on the battlefield. In a moment of impulsive decision-making, Richard enlisted in the army. His reasons for joining were not noble, he sought escape and excitement, not duty or patriotism. Here, Dickens presents a critical view of war and the glorification of military service. Through Richard's initial motivations, Dickens subtly critiques the romanticized idea of war that often leads young men to their doom. Upon joining the army, Richard quickly realizes that war is not the grand adventure he had envisioned. The training is brutal, the conditions are harsh, and the camaraderie he expected is replaced by the cold reality of death and destruction. In this part of the story, Dickens emphasizes the disillusionment that often accompanies youthful ambition, especially when confronted with the grim realities of life. Richard's first experience of battle is harrowing. He witnesses death and injury on an unimaginable scale, and it is here that his character begins to change. No longer the brash, reckless young man, Richard becomes more introspective, realizing the fragility of life and the futility of war. In the midst of this chaos, Richard encounters Captain Taunton, a commanding officer who would become a pivotal figure in his life. Captain Taunton is everything that Richard is not, brave, selfless, and compassionate. He is a man who leads by example, showing great care for his men, even in the darkest moments of war. Captain Taunton recognizes potential in Richard, despite his rough exterior, and takes him under his wing. The relationship between Richard and Captain Taunton is deeply significant, as it serves as the catalyst for Richard's transformation. Through Taunton's mentorship, Richard begins to learn the true meaning of honor, duty, and sacrifice. In quieter moments, away from the battlefield, Captain Taunton speaks to Richard about life, death, and the importance of living with integrity. These conversations leave a profound impact on Richard, who slowly starts to shed his selfishness and arrogance. Under Captain Taunton's guidance, Richard becomes a more thoughtful and conscientious soldier, developing a deep respect for his fellow men. The bond between Richard and Captain Taunton continues to grow as they fight side by side in battle after battle. But fate deals a cruel hand. During one particularly intense battle, Captain Taunton is mortally wounded. As Richard rushes to his side, we see the depth of their relationship in their final moments together. With his dying breath, Captain Taunton entrusts Richard with a final task, to deliver a message to his wife and daughter. This moment is heart-wrenching, as Richard watches the man who saved his life and helped him become a better person slip away. Captain Taunton's death marks a turning point in Richard's life. Grief-stricken, Richard vows to live up to the ideals that Captain Taunton represented, bravery, kindness, and selflessness. This scene is one of the most emotional in the novella, as Richard is forced to confront the true cost of war. The death of Captain Taunton leaves a deep scar on his soul, but it also solidifies his resolve to honor the memory of his fallen mentor. After the war, Richard sets out to fulfill his promise to Captain Taunton. He travels to Taunton's home, where he meets his widow and daughter. This encounter is both painful and redemptive for Richard. He is overwhelmed with guilt for having survived while his beloved captain did not, 
but he is also filled with a sense of purpose in delivering Taunton's message. Richard's interaction with the Taunton family is deeply moving. Mrs. Taunton, though heartbroken, expresses gratitude for Richard's service and for the message he brings from her husband. Her daughter, meanwhile, becomes a symbol of hope and new beginnings for Richard. In the final moments of the story, Richard stands at the grave of Captain Taunton, reflecting on the journey that brought him here. He has come full circle, from a rebellious, selfish young man to a thoughtful, redeemed soul who has learned the value of sacrifice and love. As the story of Richard Doubledick comes to a close, the narrator reflects on the lessons learned from this tale. The spirit of Christmas, kindness, forgiveness, and redemption, permeates the narrative, reminding us all of the importance of human connection and compassion. Dickens uses the character of Richard Doubledick to demonstrate that no matter how far one has fallen, there is always the possibility of redemption through love and selflessness. In the end, The Poor Traveler is not just a story about a soldier's redemption, it is a celebration of the human spirit. Dickens reminds us that we are all travelers on life's journey, and it is through acts of kindness, both given and received, that we find our way. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Charles Dickens' The Poor Traveler. We hope this detailed exploration has given you a deeper appreciation for this timeless tale of redemption and the power of kindness. Be sure to like and subscribe for more literary deep dives. Until next time, happy reading.